Guess who's back? Back again. Cat is back. Tell a friend. And I literally have told absolutely all of my friends about Cats the Music returning to London. Ever since I went to the press launch in July, I have been so excited about seeing the revival of this show. I first went to see Cats the Musical when I was nine years old at the New London Theatre. I think it was the first West End musical my mum ever took me to see. So Cats really holds a special place in my heart. And I think after I saw it, I sung memory forever. Okay, so I need to start this review with the thing that will stick with me forever about this performance, the most amazing aspect to the show. Now, I'm not biased, and for me, you know, I don't buy in to celebrity casting where it's not deserved, but I have to say, Nicole Scherzinger was shamazing in this show. Like, she deserves the role of Grizabella. Her being a celebrity has absolutely nothing to do with her ability to absolutely kill and own this role, and she does exactly that. Her voice is an absolute revelation, and I don't know where she's been my whole theatrical life. She is a truly deserving leading lady, and I really want to see more of her in the West End. Now, Scherzinger kind of brings like a beautiful tragedy to the role of Grizabella, kind of an aging beauty. You can't hide the fact that Nicole Scherzinger is an absolutely beautiful woman, but here they've kind of, yeah, made it seem like a decrepit kind of beauty, a slow kind of beauty, and it really, really works for the role. And it's something that I don't think any other Grizabella before her has ever managed to bring to the piece. And I've got to say, in act two, that key change, oh my God, like, I was on my feet applauding Nicole. She sang memory to perfection. Now, one of the best things about Cats the Musical is that it's not a one cat show. This isn't just about Grizabella and Nicole Scherzinger, amazing as she is. This is a very strong ensemble piece. And I'm happy to report that by and large, the cast here is absolutely fantastic. So we have Cameron Balls, McCavity, Zizi Strallens, Demeter, Benjamin Yates and Dawn Williams as Mungo, Jerry and Rumpel Teaser, and Adam Salter's back-flipping Bill Bailey. And I really think that the moments that the show really comes together and is presents itself as a fantastic ensemble piece, it is, is during the big ensemble song and dance numbers. And here, Gillian Lynn's choreography absolutely shines through. It's timeless and it's fantastic. The initial excitement of the first act is very much, oh, there are cats on stage. Oh, wow, look at those cats being cat-like. But after that, I would say that act two has more of the enjoyable musical numbers. So for example, we've got Skimble Shanks, the railway cat, and Macavity Macavity, which was sung excellently by ZZ Strallen, I must say. You've got Mr. Mistopheles, and you've got that rendition of memory. Act two, you know, it is the kind of musical homecoming for me. But I would say act one is very fun and the little Mungo Jerry and Rumble teaser number really kind of frothies it up and it's, it's very nice. Now, I really, really don't want to be negative about Cats at all. I think it's a very important slice of cultural history, and I totally understand that Andrew Lloyd Webber and Trevor Nunn might have wanted to give it a little shake-up, a little re to bring it into the modern age, but I'm not sure that that was the right decision. I'm not against the idea per se, but what has happened to Rum Tum Tugger is, in my eyes, a little bit of a travesty. Like, it was all very rapping cat, rude boy, um, rave klaxon, oh god, the rave klaxon, and I don't think it did the show any favours. It was almost more dated than the show itself and kind of was a bit screamingly cliched. I am going to pretend that Rum Tum Tugger, Done This Way, didn't exist, and overall would say that Cats is still an absolutely brilliant show. As I mentioned before, it is a very important slice of cultural history. When the show premiered in, the in 1980 at the New London Theatre, it really changed the direction of musical theatre there on forth, and I will say that it's still extremely important. Cats to me now is kind of a classic. I don't want to say it's dated. It's like going to watch a classic piece of theatre like, I don't know, The Nutcracker or Romeo and Juliet. It is cats and cats is a revelation. 
I really think that if you are someone who wants to go to the theatre and see something a little bit different done with a the theatrical form, then Cats is the show for you. This revival is fantastic. The fact that it sold out pretty much until 2015 really is screamingly obvious that people want Cats back in the West End. And I really, really hope that the show extends beyond its preliminary 12-week period. So get yourselves to the London Palladium. This show is absolutely amazing. The memory is living again. Maybe bring the old rum tum tugger back. But other than that, it definitely has a thumbs up and a cat's ears and a little cat whisker from me.